This is Matrix Lord 212, and today I want to talk about real life, and I want to talk about um, what happens to you when everything is going wrong, uh, and you have enemies out there, uh, people that do everything in their power to get a rise out of you, uh, do everything in their power to bring you down, to destroy basically every aspect of your life. Um, it could be the financial your income, it could be your job, it could be uh, the woman you love, uh, it could be your family, it could be uh, your friends, uh, an individual uh, that for whatever reason wants to make your life a living hell uh, and basically succeeds or thinks they succeed. Um, and you know what, this is what happens, when, when I wrote about, I wrote a poem page 42 in Sorrow Separation called Hatred. Um, and if you guys check out my book, uh, you'll see what I mean. W when you're filled with hatred, okay, you can't see straight, all right? Everything is going against you, and you have such an anger. It, it, it's not just a, a regular thing where someone, like, curses you out or something. Something Somebody really has to do something really, really bad for you to hate somebody, okay? And what happens is you become negative. Um, you cannot see straight at all. You become enraged, okay? And yes, there is a part of your mind that keeps you from going over the edge. But you are so filled with anger that you actually become, in words and in your speech, the person that's trying to mess with you. You actually, you don't think clearly and, you know, you start, you know, you're just enraged and you just start becoming a person you're not. You know, and... I've had a lot of stuff happen to me this past year, um, and it, it's been a constant struggle, almost like, you know, Bruce Banner becoming the Hulk. It, it's been a constant struggle with me trying to maintain um, my calm and coolness uh, through all this mayhem. And you know what, sometimes I have days where I'm depressed, sometimes I have days that I'm mad, but never do I go over the edge, never do I lose it where I, I make a big mistake. And thank God I have faith and, and God watching over me. But I just want to say that um, this ties in with a lot of different things. Um, you know, you're filled with such anger, and, and and then you have hate speech. Okay. Now, if you have an outlet like YouTube, um, that's that that's bad because then y your rage and anger makes it to the screen and to the internet. Um, and if you fight with someone, um, it goes back and forth, and it never ends. And at the end of the day, after this goes on, maybe for a while. At some point in time, you look at these videos and you're like, wow, I wasted like a year, years of my life fighting with this person, and I don't even remember why I was fighting with them. Um, a classic example is, um, it's a funny example, Family Guy, they had uh, Peter fighting with the chicken, and they were fighting so much and everything, and then they're like, all of a sudden, they're like, why are we fighting? I don't remember. And then they, <laughs> they made up, and then they started fighting again. So, um, this ties in with a lot of different things, ties in with my friends, ties in with my personal life. Uh, the only thing I could say is, um, I went through a terrible, terrible ordeal. Now, I, I, I try not to involve my personal life onto YouTube, okay? Um, but I, I have went through uh, a miscarriage before. Um, now, I don't talk about it on YouTube. Uh, I, I very rarely touch upon it. Um, but it was a very, very traumatic experience for me. Um, it's been so many, so many years later, and I still think about uh, it's, I still think about that, and I don't think I'll ever forget it, um, because you know what it is, I have, thank God I have two beautiful boys, uh, but at one point in time, I would have had a girl, and, you know, it, it kind of, you have always have it, like, right here, you know, because you, you, you always, I don't know, with me, it's very funny, it's like, uh, one day, you know, I see myself getting married and having children, and, and right away, I see myself having a daughter, because, you know, it's just a thing where uh, that joy was taken from me. Um, it was very painful, but I, I really don't want to use this uh, to bring an example, but I know how people feel, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and, you know, to me, it was would have been the first child. It would have been, you know, we went and bought toys. We were going to change the whole room and everything to make it for a girl. And then that happens, and then you have to return the toys. And then you have to, you know, it's been the built-up for it. Uh, and then it happens, and it breaks your heart. And... You know, it never goes away for me. I mean, I, I, you know, when the time comes around, the year anniversary, I get all, like, stupid and upset and everything. 
so I can understand why that happens. And then, you know, it's just a thing that um, when you're mad and people say things, uh, you know, you'll say things in anger also. And then at the end of the day, you really have to look at each other and you have to say, you know what, this, this isn't worth it. Um, it's not going anywhere. It's not accomplishing anything. The only thing it's accomplishing is you're going to get a heart attack or you're going to get a heart attack or you're going to get a heart attack or you're going to be stressed out. You're going to gain weight. You're going to lose weight. You know, you're not going to be able to sleep at nights. And, and what, what, is the, what is the goal really behind uh, anger and negativity? There is no goal. It, it's just going to get you sick. So, you know, right now, currently, I, uh, I have two different things going on. I have one thing to do with, uh, you know, family court thing. And then the other thing I have to do is an ex-friend that's trying to mess with me. And you know what? It's, I have to stay positive. And I write positive, And I, I, I try to help people with the books. And now, I don't see why anybody would deem uh, a mission of theirs to destroy my work on my books and stop me from making an income solely because they want me miserable um you know that person that did that the uh, name is not even in it at all uh, she has nothing to do with this in fact you know i only know her like a few years um so why she would do that i have no idea but um i can't hate people you know people are just going to be that way and you can't change a person you know so i don't know i mean i'm i guess i'm making this video because i'm thinking uh, not only in my personal life, but I'm thinking about um, three great friends of mine on YouTube, um, and I'm not going to mention their names, but um, you know, both uh, both parties um, were friends with each other, and then something happened, and then they fought. And you know what? Uh, I am a peacemaker. I am um, neutral, and I don't really want to talk about that feud. But the only thing that I ask, because you know, it does mean something to me in my heart, because I'm very sensitive and everything. It, it, it would be uh, great if one day I could see those three, just talk it out, um, and just see where everything went wrong, um, maybe on Skype. I mean, I would even be a, a mediator if it could, because you know what it is? I am a peaceful person. I, I don't like seeing people fight, and especially these three wonderful people, um, you know, uh, and you guys know who you are. Um, you know, uh, uh, it's just, I don't want to mention you guys' names, but... You guys are all awesome to me. Uh, you guys have all been there for me. Um, you you have lifted my spirits. Uh, you motivated me. You pushed me. Um, and I love you guys very much. And the whole thing is that, um, you know, you guys even helped me with my books. You know who you are. And I, I just hope that, you know, there's so many things going on in life. I just hope that you guys could somehow, like, unblock each other. So that way you guys could talk to each other. You know? So, um, you know, you could say, oh, you know, Matrix Flood 212, you're, you're an idiot, you know, look at this jerk, and, and then make videos about me and bashing the crap out of me, and with my stupid headphones, and my, me being overweight, and, you know, my face looking like a pizza face, you know, that, that I mean, look, I, I'm trying to be a friend here, so, uh, I'm hoping that you guys see this, and I just hope that you guys could just at least unblock each other, so that you could somehow communicate with each other, and, and realize that there are um, shadows in the darkness. There are enemies that are looking to uh, break up your friendship so that way you're, you're both your channels get infected and then other people will try to rise while you guys are falling. And, you know, there are a lot of trolls out there and, you know, people, there's a lot more hatred out there than there is love, unfortunately, in this world. So you guys, um, you know, I'm not, you guys can do whatever you want. You guys want to fight forever, that's fine. Um, I'm just making a suggestion, um, and you guys can curse me out, it's fine, I mean, it's just, I, I think that unblocking would be a step to communicating, that's all, um, and if you guys do that, that would be awesome, uh, and if you don't, okay, but you know what, uh, at least I did make a video to try to reach you guys, okay, um, so, um, you know, nobody knows what I'm talking about, really, unless they know what's been going on, so, I'm not going to sing anybody out, but, uh, you know, I, I, I guess I get emotional, too, because it, it ties in with my life. Um, you know, I have people out there that are doing a lot worse things than you guys find on YouTube. Um, you don't even know what, what's going on with me. I mean, my books were suspended. Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> I have to investing all of it into that, trying to build a future for my children to have my income stopped, which is amazing. Besides the fact that I have to go and deal with all this other nonsense. You know, the biggest love I have is my, for my children. I love my, my boys. 
and I don't want to be enemies with anybody. So um, that's just it on Valentine's Day. I'm just making this video a peaceful video, um, and you guys let me know what you think and leave your comments below. Uh, and people that don't have anybody today, well, you know what? It's a made-up holiday anyway, uh, just to make money. Uh, you know, just so that way the stores, people could buy candy and hearts and everything. There's no such thing. Uh, you know, when people with someone on this day, they spend money, they have a time. I remember, I mean, it's just, you know, and for someone who doesn't have anybody, you know what, to me, it's just another day. Uh, I'm not going to get too wrapped up with Valentine's Day. And uh, I'm not going to be upset either because this is the first year I'm not really upset at all that I'm alone. So, uh, it just it's a long video. Somehow, for some reason, the laptop didn't shut itself off, so I'm surprised. But um, just want to say to all the single people out there, you know what? Just distract yourself. Watch TV. Watch a horror movie. Keep busy. Read, write, play sports, something, video games, whatever, and just let the day pass. That's all. Don't be filled with anger. Don't be filled with rage against the world because you're single and you know everybody. You know everything's going wrong for you. You know what? You you, you gotta make the most out of your situation. You know. You, you gotta rise. You can only fall so far. You can only fall so far. Eventually, you have to get back up. Alright? And you can't let years go by and be depressed and everything. You have to rise to your occasion. You have to evolve. You have to make yourself better. Only you can get out of your depression. Only you could, you know, and pe a million people could talk to you. And only you can get out of your depression. So you have to get off that couch, get off the, you know, the laptop. <laughs> I'm gonna get off my laptop soon. But you gotta, you gotta rise, and you gotta make something out of your life. You gotta make it important, make it a good one. You know. So um, this is just a motivational video too. So um, everybody have a great day today. Um, I'm gonna be shutting this laptop off in like five minutes. Uh, I just have to talk to the publisher, and then that's it. So um, God bless everybody, uh, and peace, 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 peace. Let's have peace. All right, bye.